Good morning, on our way to the mall. Cheryl is doing things on her phone. Trying to find out where we have to go. My arm is feeling a little bit better. Left arm. Yay. That's why I'm able to hold the phone thingy as I shake you guys. Ooh. It's not an earthquake. It's just my arm being a little bit weak still. But I just recently watched the Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode. And that show's getting way, way better. It's like a typical Joss Whedon. <laughs> it stopped recording because I ran out of space. So I deleted all the videos. Anyways, I was saying that uh, the show, in typical Joss Whedon fashion, gets better. Oh, that was an augmented reality thing. I didn't know that's what that was. Where's this thing? Oh, wait. There you go. There's that. I didn't know what you could... This is an augmented reality poster. Do you know that? Weird. I don't, I don't not usually come out the front of the building very often, actually. Oh, I didn't even realize that there's this little sticker thing. I didn't even know this was here, because I go that way, usually. Mm. Okay. Well, um, yeah. So, if you don't watch the show... I'm sorry, I keep, <laughs> I keep, I keep hitting your phone. <laughs> Um, yeah, just watch the, or just go on Wikipedia and read the synopsis for like the first 12 episodes. It's pretty much what you need to, to kind of get. And then you can start watching it from that point. Because I think they're up to like episode 17 or 18 now, and it's actually getting really good. So, if you don't watch it, that's what you should do. And we're just waiting for a bus now, because we just missed one. And... I will blame this one. Mm -hmm. Yep. I was dressed first and ready first. Mm -hmm. But then I put wrong information on the marriage form. <laughs> Got all confused. It's okay. It's alright. It's fixed now. So yeah. now we can go. It's done. We're only an hour and ten minutes behind schedule. It's fine. Right? So we're just heading to Scarborough Town Center then? Yes. Okay. Yeah! Scarborough Town Center! It's okay. So we just found out that it's it's not here. <laughs> we thought, okay, so we're, we were supposed to get our marriage license. Yes. License? Yes. License. Okay. So our marriage license we're supposed to get today. Because on the website it just says go to Service Canada. And then the closest one to us is here it's at Scarborough like County. Yeah. yeah. But now we find out that the actual place we have to go is like an hour and... Half away. away. Which I will have time to do today. Yeah. So. But hey, we can pick up our rings. Yeah. That's one thing. That is one thing. But this is the most important thing because if we don't have this, we are in trouble. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We'll be able to get it. So probably we're going to have to wait two weeks to go get it now. Or one. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. This, this is my crack. They are garlic potatoes. And they're possibly one of the best things in the world. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm a mom, and I like warm hugs. You like warm hugs? but I can always love the idea of a so apparently these are a thing, and Cheryl likes some of them. She likes. She likes. She likes Cinderella. She likes her. And everyone else is stupid looking. They either look stoned mm -hmm. or terrified. Mm. Like. Oh, <laughs> Cheryl apparently watched watch the baby vlog. Baby vlog. Yeah. Uh, one of the couples that we watch, they had their kid finally. They're the Irish couple. Uh, we're back home. We made David, as you saw, 
So that's good. We're home. Okay, so after all that, we found out we were in the wrong place. The lady at the reception desk told us a different place. We just had to go across the courtyard to a different building. But she told us we had to go all the way to like an hour away. So we're going to try and go tomorrow. We don't know if we'll be able to make it before I go to work tomorrow or not. But we'll see. Hopefully we get it soon. I'm on my way to work now. Um, close again tonight. So that is where I am headed. It's windy, but it's nice. The weather is so nice tonight. Or today. I'll see you guys a little bit later. So I just finished watching Justified season five it just ended uh on the weekend oh no actually it was a weekend no tuesday yeah because the show happens on tuesday but i don't usually get to watch it until a little bit, a little bit later um but watching that show is hard because it's got raylan gibbons as like the main character but boyd crowder is like the anti-hero character he's like the joker type character to raylan's batman and there are so many times during the season that you are sort of cheering for, for Boyd, <laughs> even though he's a terrible person, right? He, he does like the worst things ever. He kills people with explosives. He shoots people point blank. He gets people murdered. He like just horrible, horrible criminal. And like he runs drugs and he robs banks and he, <laughs> he basically does everything anything criminal he's probably done it but at the same time he's so horribly like charming in the way he that he does do it so you can't help but silently cheer for him and hope that he escapes and then you've got Raylan who is basically a bad man he finds ways to get the guy he needs to get no matter what the consequence because he's so focused on his target half the time, his character is really boring. Just the way that he goes about doing some of these things, especially near the end of, of, these, uh, of these story arcs. And then you start to, to cheer for him again because all of a sudden it's like, yeah, Raylan, that's what you should be doing. The latest arc is, is quite interesting and I really want to know what's going to happen next season. Now Raylan is going right after Boyd. And so we'll see what happens. We'll see whether or not he can actually catch him this time. Because what's been happening so far is that um, it's always been technicalities that Boyd's gotten away. Um, Raylan, for the most part, has tried to get him. But Boyd's always found a way to, to just, just escape his grasp. So should be neat. And that's going to be a long wait because... Yeah, I'm going to have to wait, like, I'll be a married man <laughs> when I find out what ends up happening. Okay, anyways, yeah, I'm going to watch a couple more shows, and maybe we'll start dinner. It's 10 o'clock, and I'm just getting off the elevator. It was one of the most ridiculous days at work I think I've ever had. So much was going on. I'm just happy to be home. Well, I mean, I'm almost home. I'm in the hallway to be home. Uh, but yeah. So, yeah. I'll tell you guys about it when I get inside. You guys are really close to my face. I'm sorry you can see all my newfound stress pimples. It's great. Before I fall asleep, I just want to tell you guys a story about today. There's this lady who came into the one department, and she was there yesterday and was giving me a hassle yesterday. And today she came in again. And she gave the girl a hassle, so the girl called the manager, and then she was giving the manager a hassle. And just without giving you all the details, because A, there's a lot of them, and B, too tired. There was spitting involved, and throwing things on the ground, and police officers. The police officers were called, and they pretty much, they didn't want to take her out in cuffs, even though, you know, whatever. Because she had a kid with her, she had her daughter with her. So they just tried to like calm her down and talk her out of being a ridiculous person and essentially just being a jerk to the people working in that department like she was yesterday. And it was kind of amazing. It definitely helped the day go by because it was a very long day and I was there, oh gosh, about 
half an hour later than I was supposed to be because, well, not just me, but everybody because of how crazy of a day it was. There was a lot to get done besides that drama. That drama took like an hour of the time. So I was in an aisle close to where this was happening, so I kept like popping my head around the corner to see what was happening. It was amazing. Chuck knows the whole story. You're not really missing that much, just little details here and there, but it was great. And then I had a whole bunch of like extra work I had to do. They're fixing parts of the store tomorrow, so I had to pretty much empty large sections. But my ring's back. Can't see it, but it's there. I'll get it. I'll get it, I promise. Do you see the shine on that? Anyway, we got our rings back, as you saw earlier, and now my ring is clean and all shiny. And it's great and exciting. But I'm tired. Like, really. Really tired right now. So I'm going to go to bed, and this is where we're going to end the vlog. So, good night, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.